Hello and welcome to this video. Version 7.1 of Proxmark's virtual environment is based on the latest Debian 11, codenamed Bullseye, combined with leading open source technologies for virtual environments. This includes a modern Linux kernel 5.13, LXC4, Ceph 16.2, Chemo 6.1, and OpenZFS 2.1. Newly created virtual machines have support for secure boot verification, allowing modern systems such as Windows 11 to run. The improved VM setup wizard has new defaults for Windows 11, like Q35 machine type, use of OVMF, and added TPM. Make sure that you assign at least 64 GB disk space. If needed, multiple virtual disks can be added. Assign two CPU cores and 4 GB memory. As always, the latest Vertio drivers are necessary to ensure optimal performance. Backup jobs are now run by a new scheduler daemon and support more flexible scheduling options. If you want to test how various schedules will behave, open the job schedule simulator. Enter a schedule or select a predefined schedule and adapt it to your needs. Let's run backup jobs every three hours. By pressing the simulate button, you can see the effective backup times. Now, just copy the schedule and add this one to the existing backup job. The retention setting allows you to set how long backups will be stored per backup job. If you want to keep a backup indefinitely, and protect it from getting deleted due to your backup retention settings, simply set the protected flag. Proxmark's VE 7.1 supports web orphan, superseding universal second factor. And one-time recovery keys for all types. The configuration of multiple factors for a single account is now possible. Container templates for Fedora and Ubuntu have been updated.
and support and templates for the Alma Linux and Rocky Linux distributions are now included. Both claim to be binary compatible with RHEL and can replace CentOS. The new Proxmox Virtual Environment 7.1 is available in all of our repositories. Just download the ISO and discover all new features. We hope you'll enjoy working with Proxmox Virtual Environment. If you have any questions, check out the Proxmox Community Forum for help. Thanks for watching.